Oh, hello. This week in our article that we're going to send out, it's uh, all about first-time home buyers and the do's and don'ts if you are just about to get into the market. There's a whole bunch of things you should not do, actually, if you're if you're a first-time buyer trying to get into this market specifically. So number one, don't rush, okay? Don't just jump in and buy the first thing that you see. One of the things about being a first-time buyer is getting yourself into the market and getting educated on what's actually happening in the market. Some segments of the market are fast, some are slow, some there's lots of inventory, others there's next to no inventory, but you're not gonna be able to know that until you get out there, start looking at some homes, and in fact, you need to lose a couple of homes before you're actually fully educated on what's really going on in the market. Another thing too, make sure you pre-read all of the contracts you're going to have to sign and don't sign anything you're not comfortable with. Any realtor that you're working with should give you a set of the contracts prior to you ever going out and looking at homes. So you can have a lawyer look at them, you can have your parents look at them, you can look at whatever it is, get a second opinion. It's gonna go really fast when it comes time to writing an offer. You're gonna wanna know what you're signing long before you sign it. Closing costs, number three. Don't forget it actually costs money to buy a home. Now the cool thing is you get us for free, realtors for free. You do, but you're still gonna have to pay for a lawyer if you wanna do any inspections. Home inspection, if you're buying something with condominium fees attached to it, you'll need to do a condominium document review. Maybe you're buying an older home, you might wanna do a sewer inspection, or maybe there's gonna be an asbestos test done on the house. You have to remember all of these things cost money and they're up to you, the buyer, to foot the bill for. The fourth thing is don't be afraid to walk away if it doesn't feel right. If your home goes through an inspection and you're not comfortable with what that inspection comes back with, you have every right to walk away if you put that condition on your offer. Okay, let's talk about the good stuff. And the good stuff is, what are all the things that you want to do when you're a first time buyer out there looking for a home? So number one, get pre-approved. Don't go out there and start shopping for homes because if you think you can afford a certain house, you get out there, you start shopping, and you find the one you want, and then, oh, wait a second, I've submitted all my documents to the bank and I've written an offer on this house. Well, I actually can't afford it, and now I've kind of disappointed myself, and I've wasted the seller's time, and I've wasted everybody's time. Get yourself pre-approved. It's very simple. You can get that done in less than a day and it will give you the peace of mind you need to get out there and shop for a home. Number two, you gotta be realistic. You know, you may want a certain thing in a market, but maybe the payments are too big on that thing or you can't qualify for that overall price just yet. Be realistic with your budget and your expectations. Buying homes is a marathon, it is not a sprint. If this is part of your strategy to create wealth in your life, it's about getting into the market and then building up some equity in that home and using that home to get to the next home and the next home and the next home and the next home. Be realistic with your expectations. Number three, there is no such thing as a bad question. Okay, no dumb questions here at all. In fact, as a realtor, I love all the questions I can possibly get from you. And in fact, I'm gonna ask you a lot of questions too because I wanna try and figure out exactly what it is you want before you know. If there is anything you are unclear of in a real estate transaction, you're about to spend a lot of money. You better get all your questions answered. And number four, Hire an agent that has your best interest in mind. In fact, I think you should shop around for a real estate agent like you do anything else. It doesn't matter if they're your parents' agent or your friend's agent, they may not be the right agent for you. This is all about trust and personality fit and do they have your best interest in mind? Interview several agents and pick the agent that fits the best with you. All right, first time buyers, you ready to start your home search? All you have to do to get that rolling and interview us as one of your choices is just DM us anytime.